Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's going to be how I achieve these soft bouncy curls using flexi rods. So if you guys are interested, then please keep watching. So I've already co-washed my hair using the Eden All Natural Cleansing Co-Wash and OMG you guys. This is my first time trying. I got this in a Curl Mart purchase actually for free and this is the absolute most creamiest hydrating conditioner like I have used. Like I still love the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash just the same but this stuff was bomb. And this is also a new product that I'm trying. This is the Shea Moisture Extra Moisture Detangler. And this stuff is just as good as the Kinky Curly Knot today. I might like it a little bit better, but I just ran that through my hair. That's going to be a part of my loss method. And I love this stuff. It's really, really good, nourishing, and also hydrating at the same time. Next, I'm just creating my part. I actually like to have a side part. I just think that's most flattering for me, especially since you guys know I'm suffering with heat damage, so I've actually been kind of chopping just a little bit along the way, so it's a little shorter in some areas, so parting my hair on the side works better for me right now. Next, I'm gonna be using the Reconstructive Finishing Elixir from Shea Moisture, another great product that I really do enjoy. I'm gonna put that in after the leave-in. And then I'm just going to section my hair off into four sections with my clips so it's just easy to manage as I'm styling. I'm just showing you um, pretty much the size that I use for each section is about a medium size. For my hoe today, I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse and the Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. So the technique is going to be the same technique that I use for my perm rod sets. I like to make sure that my ends are really soft and they have no tangles and I make sure that they are very secure before rolling up on the roller. So I'm showing you guys here that I make sure that my ends are really secure first and then I just wrap the flexi rod around my hair as you can see here. It's super easy, it took me about, I don't know, maybe a minute maybe less than a minute. I'm just showing you again. So you're just gonna make sure that your ends are as smooth as possible on the ends of the flexi rod first. And then you're just gonna wrap it around. So this is like the twist and wrap. Maybe it's what they call it, but it's the best method that's been working for me. And I actually use this method because when I try to actually wrap my hair around the flexi rod or a perm rod, it just doesn't work and my ends just come out. So on the sides, I've been using the red flexi rods just because my hair is a little shorter on the sides because I've been snipping hairs and I'm probably not supposed to, but I've just been cutting them every so often. And also on each section, I take about a pump or two of that curl mousse and I take just a dab of that, look at me dab, no joking. <laughs> I take a dab of that um, Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls and I put them both on my hair first. I detangle just to make sure that my ends are not tangled. And with that flexi rod, and you just wanna make sure first, the most important key, super key, is to make sure that your ends are smooth on the rod before you start wrapping. And that is all, that's what I do here. I think I had about 16 flexi rods. And I actually sleep in them, and they're not as bad as it seems. Um, it's not as, it doesn't hurt my head that much. It can become a little uncomfortable, but I had about four rods per section. And then I go back in with the reconstructive finishing elixir and just spray again for added moisture. So it's the next day and you guys already know my routine. I use that same elixir. This elixir actually has been really good to me. It has sea kelp, argan oil, and shea butter and I'm really, really happy that I invested in that. The Walgreens um, BOGO Cell. It was a really good investment and I tried new products that I never tried before. I kind of sometimes get stuck using the same products but I'm super happy that I tried this one. So I just spray this elixir on my hands before taking off the rods. And when you're taking off the rods, you just want to take them the opposite direction as you roll them. So now I'm just separating and I'm going to clean up my edges with my favorite olive oil eco styler gel. Because I have a lot of new growth popping out in the front. 
my curlies are coming through, so I have to slick those babies down. And I'm just going to separate to my liking. I try to keep my curls pretty chunky for the most part. I don't like to separate too much because I know throughout the week that they're already going to kind of separate and kind of do its thing on its own with my curls. So I just do a little bit of separation. And then I just like going in with my pick and I just do this for added volume. The glitch in your eyes pulled me under, but I will wait for you. All right guys, so that's the end of this video. I thought this was the perfect hairstyle for Valentine's Day. And I have been loving my flexi rod sets. They're actually my styles I've been going to just because of my transition back to my healthy curls. I hope you guys try out this look. And thank you so much for watching again. Please comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.